once upon a time a simple store in Deep Haven, Minnesota, near the shores of Lake Minnetonka. It opened in 1895. That's 20 years before World War I, and only 30 years after President Lincoln. When the store opened, electricity was still in its very early forms, so this place would have been lit with kerosene lanterns. And over the years, the store has seen many, many different owners. There's no pictures of the inside of this particular store that I could find, but here's what it would have looked like. During its early years of operation, electric streetcars were in use in this area. One of the owners, Samuel Rehm, in 1911, was said to have died of a heart attack due to a fight he got into with a customer who was trying to steal a box of tobacco. In the early 1900s, this place delivered groceries to some of their customers with a horse and buggy that would have looked something like this one. And they continued that service with the latest Model T pickup trucks in the 1920s that would have looked something like this. Many of the owners, of course, lived in the upstairs apartment. The road in front remained just a dirt road until 1930. A few years later, the store put in a single gas pump that I've heard remained in place until 1990. The store is surrounded by homes and summer cabins, and in 1995, the surrounding neighborhood had a chance to purchase the store and land. Eventually, the Cottagewood Community Foundation was established, and this group still runs the Cottagewood General Store to this day. It's a small miracle that a place like this still exists. Almost every store built in the 1800s has been burnt down, torn down, abandoned, or left to rot. But somehow, this little store found itself nestled tightly in a nice little community. It worked its way into the hearts of the people, and they are not planning on letting it go anytime soon. So come with me today, as Ashley, Wally, and me spend a little time for ourselves at the Cottagewood General Store in Deep Haven, Minnesota, since 1895. Welcome everybody to this episode of Matt's Red Show. Me and Ashley have traveled to Deep Haven, Minnesota, in the Minnetonka Lake area. The reason being is that there is an amazing old school general store since 1895 it has existed in this little neighborhood it's not surrounded by any other businesses it's completely surrounded by homes really nice homes most of them but um, it is, it, it's amazing that this place still exists these places like this just do not exist anymore it's not a general store anymore like it used to be but it's still a place where the people in the community can come they can grab some ice cream they can hang out they do a lot of social events and things for the community it's actually part of a nonprofit, and so they do a lot of good for the community in general as well so we're going to take a look inside we're going to grab some ice cream we're just going to hang out hopefully i can find some history about this place i can tell you some history about it narrator matt will hopefully be able to tell you some history about the place and um yeah narrator matt and uh, me and ashley and Wall are going to get some ice cream and enjoy it so thanks for stopping by this episode of matt's rat show and let's get in there and get some ice cream They have this nice patio back here too. Just nice and shaded. I'm going to grab our ice cream and sit out here and enjoy it. Good stuff. I like the old picket fence. It's got the old school picket fence too. I'm pretty sure the original owners probably lived up there and worked down here. Not many stores do that anymore. Where you work and live in the same location. He was saying there's a guy that still lives up there today. A neighborhood kind of guy that helps folks out. Does stuff for the neighborhood and the community. Look at this guy. You are growing so fast, buddy. He brought his truck. I'm growing so fast. There you go. Ready to go. We're going to go inside this place now and check it out. Opening the door. Oops. 
try that again. Okay. That was special of us. Okay. And I expended my energy for the rest of the day. For the rest of the day. Yeah. All right, here we are. <laughs> oh, we're here. Was that Wally? Tell me about the place here. What do you guys do with it now, and what's it what's it kind of doing now? So we've actually been open since 1895. We've been open for 100, 100 years, and we've just kind of been serving the community: candy, sandwiches, drinks, everything like that. Yeah. So we get a lot of kids in here just from around the neighborhood. Most of us that even work here are just from around the neighborhood too. So how long has it been in its current state of kind of a nonprofit? Uh, so I actually don't totally know the answer to that question. It's mm -hmm. it's been uh, founded like funded by the neighborhood for as long as I can remember. So okay. Yeah. Uh, so when it originally opened, it was just like a general store for people who lived in the area, just in the neighborhood. Sold like sandwiches and like just a lot of the stuff we sell now. But we've kind of become more of like a candy store for the kids in the neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. What other kind of fun stuff do you guys do for the neighborhood? Uh, well, actually, so over the past couple of years, we've, we've have we've had grill nights, which are basically we actually create like a little barbecue for the community. A lot of people come. Uh, but this this year, since the pandemic, we've actually been ordering food trucks. So we've had Arcane Kitchen, which is a local one. Uh, they got tacos and stuff like that. So, uh, well, that over there, that's actually been in existence for as long as like the store's been in. So nice. that, and then this is also an original uh, uh, register right here. Okay. So I don't know. It's just it's just important to keep all the history and the place going. Any other original aspects of it? Um. Uh, floors? Yeah, most. I think the floors are still. I mean, we have to retouch them every year, but I'm pretty sure they're yeah, they look pretty original. old. Yeah, they're original. I don't think a lot, of, a lot of the building itself hasn't changed a lot. Okay. Yeah. And do people live upstairs? Yeah, so we or? have a we have someone who kind of just takes care of the place up there, who takes care of the neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. So no one's living up there right now. It's so no, there. yeah, there is a man that lives up there. His name is oh, okay. Yeah. So he just kind of helps around up the neighborhood. Any like anyone who needs it, he'll just come over and help you. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know. It's just it's just nice to work with people that you've known for many years. Like most of the, most of the people that even work here, I've been friends with for my whole life, just living around yeah. here. That's cool. So, All right. So it's become kind of a local hangout spot for you yeah, guys. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, like, even we've we've had people that are like living in like California that grew up here for like, like six years and then moved out there. Always come back and they're always like, oh, I miss this place. Cool. You know, it's, they always say it's just the same as they left. So cool. that's always fun. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for telling us about it. Yeah. Appreciate thank you. It. <laughs> he was telling me that this this is original over here. He was saying this this cooler. <laughs> this cooler is original here, he was saying. So this was, just think of how many folks have gotten a cold drink out of that cooler right there. Oh, it's an original cooler, that's amazing. Looks like they sell stuff for the neighborhood now. Cottage wood. It's kind of cool. Get your own cottage wood. Shirts, Lake Minnetonka. Looks like they got some surfboards that just came in. Some fun stickers. Some delicious ice cream treats. Yum, yum, yum. Always, always a good cooler to, to have. You're gonna get, huh? I'm debating between a root beer float. And that sounds good. And a Nicolette pot ice cream. Those both sound really good. I'm going to get a Nicolette pot bowl. Nicolette pot one or two scoops. How big are your scoops? <laughs> and then Ashley's going to get... Root beer float. Root beer float? Root beer float. No problem. Yummy. Hello. So what is Sebastian Joe's? Yeah. This is Sebastian. What, what is Sebastian Joe's? Is it a... It's just a local ice cream company. And this is Nicolette pot bowl. One of our most popular flavors, wouldn't you say? Yeah. yeah. What, so what's in the Nicholas, Nicolette pot um, It is chocolate ice cream with heat, fudge, um, fudge cups. yeah, fudge sea cups, salt. sea salt, super good. It's really rich, but... Sounds yeah. delicious. Really good. Sounds delicious. Right, Can't wait. Go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yum, yum. There she is. Num nums. 
got some new surfboards in. Here comes the root beer float. There's the root beer. And there's the float. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Num -num. Ooh, that's good. Mmm, that's very chocolatey. Something's happening to my ice cream cone. It seems to be disappearing. It's in a really good location because they got all these cross streets here. They're on the corner of these two streets and it just goes right past it, the store, and then it goes, there's two or three other streets over here. So it's like really in a good good spot here for the neighborhood. <laughs> it's just really neat though to, uh, to see it just nestled in the middle of a neighborhood here because you really are surrounded by just people's homes. And then in the middle of this neighborhood is just this general store. Well, what used to be a general store. And uh, this is a time gone by in America. You used to, they used to have these, you know, all over small towns, all over little neighborhoods and stuff. Little community mom and pop stores where somebody probably lived upstairs and then served the people downstairs and everybody in the community knew them. And, and um, yeah, it's just, you don't see these places like this anymore. And so it was cool to, to check this place out and uh, take a good look at her. <laughs> take a good look at her. Who am I? Nice big patio area on the side here. Stairs that led to the upstairs apartment. That's cool. Come down here, get ready for work. Head right in there and go to work. Don't have to worry about your commute. Back in the day, that's for sure. I heard that Steve Carell actually owns a place like this that there was an old mom and pop general store maybe in that neighborhood that he grew up in i'm not sure you have to do some research online but steve carell from the office michael scott bought a general store and he currently i think he still owns it probably employs other people to run it for him but it's kind of cool so i mean there's a place for these things in our american history here and uh everything didn't used to be a walmart places like this used to have character you used to be able to go know the people who were selling you here food and Say hello, shoot the breeze with them a little bit, get your groceries or whatever, on your way. <laughs> a lot of people have, uh, you know, given money to make sure that this place still exists and they got their names on uh, one of these bricks here. It's kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna grab something cold before we leave here. I gotta use this old school. Look at this. Look how, that's original. That's so cool. Oh, there's a Coke, Diet Coke maybe. What am I gonna get here? Maybe just a couple of waters. A little water here. That sounds good. I decided on a Diet Coke instead. Yeah. Look at that, look how they used to lock. A little piece of history there. How many hands have locked and unlocked that? handle there. See you later guys! Yeah, <laughs> you too. Off we go. So if you're ever in this area, this location, I would suggest you come check it out. It's a pretty cool spot. The Minnetonka area has a lot to do, especially if you enjoy boating and that kind of stuff. Look at these guys over here. These guys over here, they're, uh, they got some, uh, surfboard type things bought it I think you paddleboard on those I think you stand on those and you paddleboard me and Ashley are going right across the street here to the park uh there it is <laughs> Wally's over here enjoying the park already so I got my coke we're gonna enjoy the rest of this day so thanks for watching this episode guys please like subscribe share the episode I'm outside now so I can take the mask off share the episode if you like um, and, and uh, definitely if you're in the area, Minnetonka, Deep Haven, definitely 
come check out this this um the general store over here friendly folks grab yourself some ice cream i recommend the kind that i had the nicolette whatever it was called it's delicious and uh that's all we got for today guys thanks for joining me and we'll see you on down the road okay bye check you later